There is a super steep learning curve when it comes to starting a business. There is so much to think about and consider. Business development, product research, marketing, it can all be so overwhelming. However, to help your learning retention, there is one way which can help you to remember up to 90% of what you learn. Yes, 90%. But what is it? Well, listen to this episode of the Startup Streams Serial Entrepreneur Podcast to find out. The Serial Entrepreneur Podcast, hosted by Startup Stream CEO, Eddie Eastman. Be a student. Don't be lazy in learning. Gifts and skills, economics, and all the rest. You gotta learn. How do we learn things quickly? How do we learn things in a way that allows us to go from knowing absolutely nothing about a skill to being really good? It's one of the most important messages I have for entrepreneurs is that failure should inspire you to get smarter. You know, we learn from our mistakes. Mistakes are opportunities to get smarter, be humble, and take a look at something. If you're a child, you, the things you hear and see and do are shaping you. Mm-hmm. My kids come home saying things they've never even heard before. It's amazing. And as an adult, you have to crack into that neural circuitry and reshape it. So the way I see it, there are seven ways you are able to learn about absolutely anything, including entrepreneurship, of course. We will start at the top of what's called the learning pyramid. And as we go down the list, the learning retention rate increases up to the single method, which can help you to retain up to 90% of what you learn. So let's dive in. So the first and worst way to learn is through attending lectures. Yes, really. Right now you're getting all of your student debt because there are six better ways to learn and you spend most of your time listening to your teacher or professor preaching at the front of the class after spending tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars. But this is not optimal for learning. Why? You are being told information, you're sitting comfortably, your mind's wandering, taking the odd one or two notes, maybe even falling asleep. On average, you'll be able to remember only 5% of what you learn in a lecture. Lots of room for improvement. So reading has a 10% retention rate. However, there are a number of things you can do to improve this number. Whenever I read business books as an example, I do so with pen in hand, ready to annotate, highlight and scribble. I find this really helps. The best way, however, to remember what you read is to write down and store note cards and refer back to them occasionally to make sure that the information sticks. Although it is thought that reading equals 10% retention, this is of course an average and not always the case. Have you heard of Bill Gates' Think Weeks? Well, Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, takes out two weeks every year to sit in his cabin next to the lake and just, well, read and think. This reading vacation allows him to study alone, isolated away from distractions, and allows him to focus on big world issues. Supposedly, his retention rate far surpasses the 10% average. Not surprised. Next is where podcasts come in and YouTube videos with a retention rate of 20%. So it'll be interesting to see if you can remember one or two of these learning techniques mentioned here in a month's time. Audio and visual is certainly more immersive than reading and many prefer the visual stimulation of learning through YouTube, TV and other visual mediums, whilst others prefer learning through audiobooks, the radio and as you do, podcasts. Number four on our list, with a 30% retention rate, is learning from demonstrations, learning by watching someone else doing. This is certainly more immersive than audio or visual, as you'll be able to see how something is applied right in front of you. You may also have the opportunity to ask questions as you go. Some of my most memorable lessons from when I was at school are science and food technology demonstrations. Would you agree? You are tuned in to the Startup Stream Serial Entrepreneur Podcast with Startup Stream CEO, Eddie Eastman. Carrying on. So what has a 50% retention rate? Discussion groups. Being able to openly discuss a topic seems to do wonders for retention. Again, this is more engaging as you are being actively involved with the topic at hand. You are no longer passive, you are assertive. What's more, group discussions can help you with developing critical thinking skills, improving communication skills, increase your self-confidence, and with building teamwork. All vital components for successful entrepreneurs. Number six, practice by doing. This has a whopping 75% retention rate and is the best way I personally like to learn. I love to get hands-on and be curious about what I'm learning about, front and center. Like a demonstration, practicing by doing is far more hands-on with a task at hand. And whilst being with a tutor or teacher, this will help your retention rate as the feedback loop from questions to answers is immediate. 
So what is the number one way to learn with a 90% retention rate? Well, if you're reading the full transcript of this podcast at startupstreams.com right now, you have probably already skipped to the end. The answer is teaching others. Doing this, helping someone else with their learning, is the best way for you to also learn. So one of my first careers was actually as a bushcraft survival instructor. My own learning curve increased dramatically as I started teaching. You can learn far more yourself by helping to educate others. And I understand that this may be a catch-22, you can't teach before you learn something, but I challenge you to find someone who knows less than you and say, let's say digital marketing, and you can take it upon yourself to teach them all about it. You will benefit the most. So I hope that you've enjoyed listening to this episode of the Startup Streams Serial Entrepreneur Podcast. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our podcast and you can check out more episodes at startupstreams.com right now for more productivity tips and info about developing yourself as a serial entrepreneur. Thanks for listening. Listen to more episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, YouTube, and at startupstreams.com right now.